To get good grades in school, you have to have an effective note-taking system and be organized. So I'm going to show you how to take notes, whether it's for a lecture, a PowerPoint, or out of your textbook. And this is going to work for your math and science classes, your history and English, and probably every class in between. I like to pick one color for each theme in a class. For example, all of my nutrition is always in yellow. What you want to do is pick out the key words, people, places, things that you would be tested on. If there's charts on the page, I always try to mark the page with a sticky flag so that I remember to come back to it later on. Now these signifiers I'm going to have on my blog for a printable that you can have with you so that you remember, but I'm going to revisit the highlighted notes and use these different types of indicators to show you how to organize your notes so that when you look at it you know exactly what they mean. Again, the link will be in the down bar. So as you can see, I have underlined the topics and circled things that I needed to remember, also put some question marks for things that I need to revisit, and some arrows where some descriptions are. Now when writing down your notes, there are six steps. You need to record, reduce, recite, reflect, review, and then recap. With your piece of paper or notebook, you're going to create two lines. I'm going to use a ruler just to make it straight. And you're going to measure one vertical line about a third of the way through the paper and then right at the bottom. Now at the top of the paper, just make sure you put the date you can also put the course that you're taking or the topic or the chapter that you are working on. Now here's where the six steps comes in. We're going to record all of the information that is said during the class. Maybe you're looking at a PowerPoint, going through a book, or your teacher is simply just giving a lecture. You're going to write down as many facts and ideas as you can in this section but do not worry about getting every single word down, writing your notes grammatically correct or in complete sentences, it's okay. To ensure that your notes make sense, you know, when you're going back to study, fill in the blanks or make incomplete sentences complete. Remember, your notes are a study guide, so they need to make sense for you. Think of your notes as questions. Reduce important facts and ideas into keywords or phrases. You can create questions based on the facts and ideas. Keywords, phrases, and questions are written in the narrow column on the left once you're finished. This is the reducing part, so we're making our notes simpler. So here I'm just asking myself a question about a main point in this chapter. Remember, you don't need to do this during the actual class. This is the summary at the bottom of the page. Once you've gone through your notes, you can summarize the facts and ideas. Try to get your summary to be just one or two sentences. You can also use our highlighting techniques in your written notes. Here I have a post-it note that I am just going to use as a cover. I'm going to cut this in half and use it to cover up definitions from important words that I have in my notes so that way when I'm studying I don't see them and it can help me to recite things out loud and help me retain the information better. This is one of my favorite tips for remembering math formulas or science equations. I also use the graph paper to chart my own graphs and to make different equations stand out throughout my notes. Now just in case you need a few more indicators to organize your notes, I'm going to show you how to flag your strategy using the Post-it brand notebook kit. This little guy is so handy, I use it all the time. So what makes a story or a place in time connect? You need characters, plots, events, settings, and maybe some dates. Use the blue to note those when you come across them in the book. Then you need to question them. So flag a point where you might have a question. We're always trying to figure things out in stories, right? So when you think something's important, the author makes a good suggestion, flag it so that way you remember to go back to it when it's time to study. Then you need to monitor. Flag where you have stopped to figure out a word or had to reread a passage, maybe something that didn't make sense or something that didn't really connect for you. 
then once you're done reading, you need to evaluate. Flag where you framed an opinion about the story, how you think it's going to change, or maybe the characters change, something you like or dislike. It could just be general thoughts. These Papermate flare pens are perfect for making indicators in your notes and in your textbooks or your literature books. So I'm going to do the same indicators that I did before, like circling important people, places, or making arrows to things that need to be defined, or maybe I have a question. Now I'm going to show you what did not work for me. Here I used a ton of color. It was way too busy for my eyes. And here I used too many drawings and it was all black and I couldn't really see. So you have to find what works for you. And this system really worked for me because it's written all in black, but then the important things are colorful and fun. So let me know what you guys use and if this works for you. So if this was way too much for you, I'm going to show you how to keep it simple. All you need to do is do not write down everything. Look for main ideas, concepts, arguments that will help you to understand. Then you want to search for general themes. Think about how the lecture or reading relates to the overall theme of the course. Draw pictures. Quick little scribbles can help you remember and certain facts and ideas can make your notes more interesting. Actually use your notes. Organized notes are no good if you do not spend time to review them. Do you use a laptop or a iPad? You can also find some great apps that I will link in the bottom for you. How cool are these post-it message flags? They make organizing your notes so easy. You can even make custom ones. Here's a tip. Use these post-it tabs so that way you can divide up your chapters in your notebook so that way it's easy to flip through and find exactly what you're looking for.